Hello, once more, I'm Nick, you're you. This one is going to be another short tutorial series to make a funky UFO image, seeing as UFOs, UAPs, and NH High, whatever, is very much in the mainstream news, finally, um, because it needs to be. I thought we might as well do something based on the UFO, and this is what we shall create. So it's uh, as I say, it's slightly humorous because there are cows being um, lifted up. Um, but I was just thinking of what's freely available to everyone to put into their scene. And these cows are very much available, as are the trees. Um, and it's a it's a very simple scene. I'm just sw switching to Eevee so it's quicker. We've just got a fog plane, um, a fog cube actually with volumetrics. Very simple to make UFO and just a little, uh, little shape here for the the oozed beam and the trees we're going to make in sapling and the grass um, is I'm going to use the grass that I made in the previous tutorial um, so if you haven't done that yet I would suggest you do that because then you can make this grass that I'm using here because then everything is done fluffy all right so let's start shall we so I'm going to make a new one first things first go into edit preferences and under add-ons you want if you haven't already sapling add curve sapling tree gen and you also want image as planes because the background is going to be an image the link of which will be in the description but we'll start with the UFO so we start with a mesh um, UV sphere and I once it's done 32 put this down to 16 it's just half that yeah that's better okay and if you tab into edit mode, go into X-ray, um, Alt Z is the uh, thing, and then just select this lower half, press X, delete those vertices. And then these ones, we are going to press E and then S to extrude it downwards. And then we're just going to make it large. This is based on, um, oh, blast. This is based on a, a, a UFO that was in an air show that this chap inadvertently saw. And this has been corroborated by lots of other people that they look like this. So, yeah. And then uh, we'll go down again, E, S, a bit lot further. And then we'll just, I guess, do that. That's cool. In fact, I'm just going to take all of these points that we just made. I'm just going to make them bigger. I just like it to be a bit bigger than that dome. Okay. And as I said, I'm just switching between X-ray with Alt and Z. Um, so grab that lower, double click, grab that lower loop, press E, S, and just press G, Z to bring it down a little bit. Yeah, that'll do. And then E, S, and bring it all the way in to the middle. We don't need to, oh, actually, because of the beam, if we press E, Z, left click, and we are good. So let's put a subdivision surface on here to smooth it up. And I'm just going to start adding a few loop cuts. I don't want so much smooth there, but I would like quite an angle here. So I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to crank my subdiv up to three. I'm going to put one here as well. Yeah, about there. And for the rivets, I'm just going to separate them by putting a loop cut in there, pressing Control B. And then if we head into X-Ray and just select Edge Mode and just select all these edges, then press um, Select, Check a Deselect, and it will select every other one. And then just press Control b to bevel it slightly. And then ES, just to bring them a, a little bit. Just adds a little shape. I mean, it's triangle, so it's not ideal down there. But I'm fine with that. Would uh, that help? No, that's fine. So, to get the lights, we want to add... Oh, I missed a couple of loop cuts there. Um, we want to add some lights. So, if you just double-click, select this loop, and then this loop, and again, select, check a deselect. Oh, it's only done one line. I thought that would do both. Oh, it did. You've got to press it, press it twice. And then just press E, and just drag upwards on the Z. I quite like that there circular and with those faces selected which we can see if we turn off the sub div we want to well first of all tab into edit mode 
put a new material on, call that base, and then add another one and call this light. And tab into edit mode with these faces selected, make sure you've got light and assign. And if we head into render viewport mode and we put our sub div back on, so under here now, we've got our two materials. If we turn the first material, which is base, just for now, add some gray metal, turn the metallic up. Um, and and then if you click on light, and just with node wrangler, press shift S, and then switch that to an emission. And we'll put that up to 20. Okay. And that's, I mean, we can add, take a bit of roughness off for, um, off of the base. We'll fix the material in a bit, but yeah, there we go. Okay, so that is our very simple UFO. No one can tell me it's not right because who knows? <laughs> um, okay, so now we want the rest of the scene. Oh, one of the other add-ons I forgot to mention, if you haven't clicked already in Edit Preferences, add-ons, click a type blender kit and then you have 3d view blender kit online asset library tick that because we're going to use the cows from blender kit so now that we've got a ufo we want a landscape so shift a you could just add let's just do that oh and that's another add-on if you haven't already got it edit preferences add-on type ant uh no type landscape and there it is add mesh ant landscape tick that so shift a landscape mesh at the bottom landscape where is it it's there it doesn't really matter just scale it up and then scale it on the z and bring it down a little bit uh too much on the z so i'm going to scale that back up on the z i want it a bit undulatory and just put a brown material on it for now just so we can see what's going on uh, dark brown, not that much. Dark brown and it's dirt isn't reflective, nor is it very specular. Okay, so that will probably do it. We can sh change and edit the shape. We've got plenty of faces to work with. Um, so might even make that a little bit bigger, but not on the Z. So I'm going to press S, Shift, Z. Okay, Diablo, Diablo. Now we want some cows. So in your um, add-on menu, if it's not there, press N. You should have a blender kit. So if you type, if make sure you've got models selected, in your search box, type cows or cow and press enter. And then if this icon isn't turned on, turn that on. And the cows I took were these ones, low poly cows for background. So just click, drag, bring them in the scene. There's our cows, and they are fortunately individual, so we can move them, and we'll set them up in a bit, but that's our cows. So now we want some grass. So as I mentioned, I think I can put a link above somewhere in this video um, for the creating your own grass tutorial that I did. Follow that if you haven't, and then you can get the grass. I am just going to append that grass from uh, my drive. I'm going to pause this. Right, so I just imported grass clump, which is what we called it in the last one. Now I can't find it. Where is it? Um, if you can never find any, if you've cl clicked something and you're like, where, where is that in your view? You've got a very helpful thing, frame selected. That's in my quick menu. There we go. So straight in. So where is it? Oh, it's miles. <laughs> it's miles in the air. And it's clearly way too big, but that's fine. So this is our grass clump. So we want to click on the, how many vertices have we got enough? Click on the landscape and under your particle settings, plus hair, click hair, click advanced. And under render, we want path, change that to object and the object will be grass clump. Okay. You can turn this off the overlay just so we can see it clearly um it's going in the normal direction but we'll fix this 
So that might be the right scale, but in your particle settings, let's just bump this up to 50,000. That's a crazy looking field. Um, okay, and then, as I say, if you've done the grass clump, you know all this, the, the grass tutorial. I'm just gonna put some phase in, put some randomizer of that phase. Um, I'm also going to 0.9 the scale randomization and under source I don't really know why because it doesn't look very and um, yeah just smash up some um, thingy okay we'll just pick a good spot this is the normal this is why so I'm just going to check my particles and I'm going to change the rotation to should we try global Z there we go Chaplain. okay and I'm gonna, I'll, we don't need to add more at the moment, but that just gives us an idea so we can still work. That's the grass. Okay, now we can add a tree. So if we head, in, head it into edit mode, um, shift A, mesh, cur curve, sorry, sapling tree gen, and it will drop us a tree right there. Not the best place to drop it, but for some reason it completely ignores wherever you put the 3D cursor, it will just drop it in the center of the scene. So don't click off because we're going to mess around with this a little bit. So under this, when this, if it's down here like this, just click that. You've got geometry and under here you've got preset. And if you click, I believe it was Japanese maple was the one I like. We get this. We don't need to do much editing really at all. So if we then go into um, branch splitting, it's only got two levels. We want three. The leaves will now grow from this third level rather than the second. Um, and then uh, under leaves, it's going to add minus five leaves. <laughs> I never know why. It's going to add five leaves to every one of the ends of these tiny little third level twigs. So show leaves. So with only five leaves, it's a very small amount. So we can crank that up to, I've gone off, where are I? Leaves 100. And this is where it can get system heavy and system crazy. So you've got to do whatever your system can handle. I am perfectly fine with that. To be honest, lovely. So that's our tree. So now we can click off. And for the leaves, if we go into uh, edit uh, viewport render mode, if you click on the leaves, I'm gonna put my overlay back on, make sure, and then click on a new material we don't just want to make every single leaf the same green. That would be unnatural. So we want to differentiate it. The leaves on this probably wouldn't be green. They'd probably be yellowy. So maybe we'll have a bit of a yellow. So if you add Shift A input, I believe it's object info. No, Shift A input geometry. And then we've got this random per island. And then if we add a shift, uh, add a color ramp, color color ramp blast converter I had to do that every single time every tutorial and then put random per island click that press connect that and then just start adding delete one of these pips because it's way easier if you've only start with one and then just start adding a bunch of greens or whatever colors you're happy with um, and then when you click plus you'll get another one and then I'm going to pick a different shade and then I'm going to add another one and drop that over here. Maybe make this one a little bit more yellow. Add probably one more and maybe make that darker. Like that. And then change this to constant. Now, if we plug that into there, we then get variation in our leaf color, which is incredibly important. And just click on the tree, new, and just make it a brown material. It's not really going to be in focus, so... That's not so important. Okay, so there's our tree. Um, we might as well maybe set up a camera. I'd like the UFO to be atop the hill. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to put my overlay on so it's clearer. Uh, I'm in above. And I want it to be... Oh, I've gone the wrong way. I want it to be a bit more above the hill. Yeah, all right, just, okay, probably about there. 
Okay, and then we'll set up the camera. So if you click camera and then shift and apostrophe it so we can walk about and you should know how to move the camera by now and just set it up in a place that we think might work. Oh, I should, should say, I set the scene up differently. I just reverse these. So I've got 1080 by 1920. Um, it's a good idea to do that because we need to set up the scene. So I want all the UFO in view. I guess around there. As I say, we're going to sort out the thingy, but that's I think I think that's a good place to stop for now. I don't reckon there'll be many parts of this. I would expect two, maybe three, um, max. But that's a good start. Okay. So um, in the next one, we'll continue uh, with adding. Uh, we'll, we'll sort the grass out. We'll position the cows, position the trees, and then start looking at adding the lighting and the volumetrics. So. Until then, I have been Nick, you have been you. I'll see you next time. Bye.